Hey, good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 18th, 2019. So, hey, everyone, I hope you had a great evening. You're ready to get going here this morning. Um, interesting morning setting up today. Um, today is all about the FOMC. The FOM FOMC is is really in focus around the world. Everyone is watching to see what they will do. Um, pretty interesting, pretty interesting setup for the day. If we take a look at the diamonds here, we have a rather bullish pattern here on the diamonds. That nice little resting pullback, bullish engulfing candle on the day yesterday, suggesting a higher move uh, follow through. But this morning we have futures pointing to just a little bit of a lower open today. There's all of this confusion as to what the what the Fed is going to do. There's lots of um, speculation and spin, essentially what it is. There's noise. Um, you know, no matter what you feel about the Fed, no matter whether you really think that the economy is at such a such a poor condition, we need to cut rates again to push the market higher, or if you think that the Fed is just out of its mind in raising rates when we are pushing all-time highs in the market. That really doesn't matter. What matters is how you approach the market for the day. What matters is how you are able to set aside your bias and just trade the chart. So think about that as you approach this day. It's very, very likely we could see some choppy price action um, throughout the day. There could be a few changes to that first thing this morning, but we could see this very choppy, crummy price action throughout the day. And then um, anything is possible. The gloves will come off. It could be, it, it could be utter chaos um, right after the Fed announces its decision, whether they uh, disappoint the market, whether they um, get the market approval with what they do, we could see very wild price action. So let's talk about that for a second. First off, if, if the market, um, if we meet with market approval, if the market loves what the Fed does, we are not that far away from attacking all-time highs in the market. So in the next, uh, you know, couple days by the end of the week, if the market approves of the Fed's decision, we could easily see new record highs be made in the market. Seems kind of odd to me that we're doing that. We still haven't begun any negotiations with China. We still don't know where all of that's going to shake out. But man, oh man, um, our market loves, loves um, the idea of freshly printed money. And we'll push that market um, higher if um, it meets with approval. However, if the market is disappointed, if the market doesn't get everything at once, um, we could see kind of a tamper tem uh, temper tantrum um, kick off. And let's keep in mind that our 50-day moving average has yet to be tested down here after this explosive move up that we've seen. So if we were to um, actually see some selling come into play, let's keep in mind that we could sink all the way down in here. But the good news is, is there's some pretty decent price support in here with our moving averages all crossing up in this area. So so, and we do have price support in, uh, you know, in these regions that could support those prof, prof or support those prices. So, kind of keep that in mind. Uh, this morning, we could go either direction. Now, how you choose to to approach that is really up to you. But I would really want to uh, lean carefully on my plan and my rules and not trade this emotionally because it could get pretty wild today depending on um, what that decision might be. So let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much same situation, a beautiful bullish price setup right now on the chart off of this move. But we will have to consider, we're going to have to consider what that Fed is going to do and how that's going to react here. Um, right now, we're looking at just a little bit of a bearish open here right now. That's what we're staring at right now. And we'll have to wait and see how that plays out for the open. But right now, we're staring at a little bit of a bearish kind of flat to bearish open this morning as we wait 
And and that's largely what happened around the world last night. We we had Asian markets that were just pretty much flat. They're waiting on the FOMC. We have um, European markets this morning pretty darn flat, um, just waiting on the FOMC. So who knows what's going to happen here but once again if, we, if the market approves we could easily break that resistance high set some new record highs um, in that um, uh, spy if they happen to disappoint if the market doesn't like what powell has to say just keep in mind that 200 day or 50 day moving average has not been tested after this big open gap and we could start sinking down toward that area doesn't necessarily mean the market falls apart from here if that occurs but one thing we'll have to be very cognizant of is this possibility in this chart of this double top so keep that in mind, a failure here could create a double top pattern in the SPY. Let's take a look at the Qs. Q is also a very similar situation. Bullish pattern here yesterday, suggesting more upside resistance in this chart right here. Um, a, a good route. A good review from the market as to what Powell does uh, possibly sends this market higher. A poor review, maybe a test of price support down here in this area on the chart. So we'll have to wait and see. IWM, IWM has really been surprising how we went from just dismal to all of a sudden everybody seems to be loving on, on um, IWM. So IWM breaking its downtrend here and so far to this point trying to hold that downtrend. Now IWM just like the rest of the markets are looking at just an ever so slight pullback here this morning. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But if that can pull um, hold off of that support area of that downtrend and bounce up we could have some good um, good news in the market um, on that. Now, if we are disappointed, then just keep in mind we have not tested that 50-day moving average yet in this rally, and that's a pretty steep decline back down toward that 50-day to test it as support. Doesn't mean the market falls apart, but it could be kind of a painful process getting back down there because of the rapid rally that we had. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX is just it is just plain bit interesting the vix um, is really not showing any fear in this market whatsoever we're trailing all the way back down here um, coming back down in here to test support of this downtrend uh, line you can see we bounced off of that so far we're holding underneath this price resistance in the chart this morning we're getting a little bit of a dip in the market if that continues through the open we might expect to see a uh, little bit of fear creeping up here, but this could get absolutely wild this afternoon, uh, depending on how um, the market reacts to the Fed decision. So just keep that in mind. We're kind of in a interesting zone here where we may be showing just a little bit of complacency considering all the uncertainty in the market um, and having VIX all the way down here. It's like nobody cares. Nobody's paying attention. Um, that complacency could create a problem if fear does start to come in. But, you know, if if uh, the market gets everything at once here, um, gets its new fix of freshly printed money, we could see this continue to sink on down. Let's take a look at uh, T2122. T2122 is a four-week new high, new low ratio. We're continuing to hover around this bearish reversal zone. I've explained this many, many times and we can stay up here for a while as you can see we've done that before stay up here in this area um, so keep in mind that what this really is showing us that we still have some room to the upside to move here before we top this out but we have a big open hole to the downside as well so just kind of keep that in mind um, remember we've got to focus on the price action of the chart not predict what the Fed's going to do or put our assumptions into what we want it to be just trade the price action of the chart stay mechanical say discipline disciplined to your rules that will save you more times than not in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar today our economic calendar 
has a few things on it this morning that could certainly move us around today. We have the housing uh, status report coming out here at 8.30 this morning. That definitely can move the market. So remember at 8.30, we've got some market moving events and then we also have the petroleum status report. I don't know if that's gonna move as much today. There hasn't been, you know, oil is kind of sensitive right now. Um, um, the president opened the our, the U.S. Strategic Reserve to offset any any losses or uh, of supply from the uh, Saudi Arabia attack. But they're already back online. They're already pumping. They say that they should be at full capacity by the end of the month. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's going to be early to see a whole lot of that be incorporated into this number. But just keep in mind that anytime we see drops in supplies or um, increases in supplies, uh, that definitely affects those oil sector stocks. So watch that closely. Then, of course, the Mac Daddy uh, report of the day is going to be the FOMC, excuse me, an FOMC announcement here at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And it may be trumped, and that's not meant as a pun. Um, the more exciting price movement may come from the FOMC forecast. Forecast uh, would be whether the, the FOMC plans further rate cuts this year or if they stop rate cuts or whatever. That could really affect the overall market right now i think the market is pretty much expecting at least a 25 basis point cut and it's probably already priced in if they don't get more than that we could we could see some trouble in the market if 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 the fomc says we're cutting 25 basis but we're not expecting any more cuts this year the market may not be happy with that so um, watch that close and then keep in mind that we could still see that volatility in price action continue all the way through the fed uh, chairs press conference so watch that closely on the earnings side we only have 11 companies reporting earnings today and i really didn't see much of anything in there um, to really move the market around we have um red hat reporting today um whoops um not red hat was it red hat rht rht yeah uh, we've got a that's not the one i wanted um a gis i'm sorry gis gis uh, probably the most substantial report today and it looks like gis is gapping lower this morning um after its report kind of keep in mind that um FedEx, FedEx really collapsed yesterday after its report dropping um, substantially. So looking for a big gap down this morning that could affect um, also UPS and, and other uh, shippers. So watch that closely. Um, pretty substantial decline here in FedEx uh, this morning. Let's take a look. Um, well, before we take a look at some stocks that may be setting up, uh, for potential trades, I'd like to ask you guys for a favor. First, um, click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be, you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video is worthy, if you feel you got some good information out of this, do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, I get a lot of people watching these videos, and and and, and honestly, very few responding um, in in the comments so I really want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that that helps the algorithm show these videos to more people you guys are the best I truly appreciate that uh, that you're taking the time to uh, leave those brief comments and it doesn't have to be much heck you can leave a thumbs up and it counts so Thank you very much to, to, to those of you who do that. Remember, these videos are not meant to provide any kind of prediction whatsoever. They're, I try to avoid all the hype and all of the stuff you see in a lot of different places. And all we're trying to do is focus on the key factors and how we want to approach the market for today. And if you find that helpful, please also feel free to share this video with any friends or family. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up that may have some 
some potential out there. And what I want to draw your attention to right away is um, Apple. You know, Apple has released it, well, on the 20th, they start to ship their new phone products. And looks like sales have been going pretty well of that. You can see we have a nice little uptrend going here on Apple. And Apple breaking through some price resistance right in here, uh, these low lows of the uh, these lower test areas um, in this high point and you can see holding that support area up in here and really possibly setting up that possible move to the upside so popping on up consolidating here let's watch to see if that consolidation continues and then possibly moves on higher to attack these highs over here um, Apple looking pretty good overall in its chart and seems to have been well received on uh, their new product releases. So watch that pretty closely. Take a look at FE. FE has just been in a tremendous run up. And it's interesting to me, and the reason I'm bringing this up is not so much that this is a trade idea. It's interesting to me that we're seeing defensive area stocks, such as utilities, rallying with the market. That gives me a little bit of concern when we see um, more of the safety plays rallying right along with the overall market. But watch that closely. We're seeing uh, some pretty good moves in some of those utilities um, areas. For a, um, for a potential trade idea, you might want to take a look, if you want a basket of utilities, take a look at XLF, or oops, XLU. XLU and we have a pretty decent pattern in here setting up where we've moved on up we had a nice little pullback and trying to move on up breaking out um, right through here uh, soon possibly so keep an eye on uh, those utility sector stocks and of course you can even drill in on XLU to find some of those stocks that are moving uh, this index but nice possible setup here in XLU and you saw that I revealed um, XLF XLF is also a place you might want to be watching. It, it could be interesting today how the financials deal with a rate cut. I think it's interesting to me that in a lowering rate cut environment that we're seeing the big banks and financials sharply move higher on that um, institutional rotation into value. But we're watching this uh, chart, go, going to want to watch this chart pretty closely uh, today. If the rates cut, um, it would be interesting to me to see financials continue to move up in a, in, if we really cut rates. But it, it it's something to watch here. Having broken its downtrend, um, overall downtrend, in this really steep, sharp rally, um, could be setting itself up for more upside. And you can see um, the sharp move up. It definitely held in this area of support yesterday. So pretty interesting setup here on the financials. How they're how they're pulling this off. I'm really not uh, not understanding it very well, to tell you the truth. Um, how we can see them rallying so sharply in a rate cutting environment, but that's where we are and um, good potential setup um, in that chart. Take a look at AMAT. AMAT is a chart that I've brought up before. AMAT moving up nicely, now consolidating above this little level of support in here. Let's keep an eye on AMAT and you can see kind of a little bit of a bullishness in it yesterday bouncing off of this little support area. If that can pop on through up here, there may be some nice upside here in AMAT. So keep an eye on that. Uh, could set up and look pretty good. I've been watching Costco um, here. Costco trying to pick back up off of this support. I'm a little bit concerned with it. Whoops. Somehow I still switched to a two-day chart. Um, I'm a little bit concerned with it, though, and I have been watching for a potential failure right underneath here. And the reason I've been watching that is because this broke this price support area in here and here. We broke down through there, and I see these levels as price resistance. So I've been watching this uh, for that potential of a failure lower to see if um, I can catch a short trade in Costco. But so far, it's holding up and just kind of keeping an eye on that trade. Um, 
So lots of charts out there to choose from. One of them that I brought up yesterday to members of Right Way Options to keep an eye on would be Qualcomm. Qualcomm uh, bouncing off of this support level right in here in this chart. Kind of an interesting uh, choppy uh, price action move in here, but Qualcomm has that potential here to pop on out. And that pink line is actually a alert that I've set on that trade, waiting to see if that can push on higher. Take a look at PBYI. PBYI, kind of a cheap stock, um, inexpensive, I shouldn't say cheap, but inexpensive stock. And this is a really nice pattern that we call a round of bottom breakout pattern. We break back above that 50 day moving average and we have this big open area up here and even this open gap that could eventually be filled. So we've kind of built our bottom in here and you can see we have a nice little trend underway holding support. Watch this in here for that potential buy signal for that maybe to move on higher. So looking pretty good there overall. So with that, guys, I hope that's a few uh, for your list, something that you can uh, potentially um, do some evaluation on. And remember, no charts that I bring up in this video are meant as a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They're just meant um, as part of the education and something to put on your watch list for your uh, personal evaluation. So everyone, I want to wish you a great day. Expect, I would expect after the morning pop, the morning rush that we get, that's when everybody piles in and is making their trade decisions first thing in the morning. In fact, the, uh, they kind of call that dumb money. Um, as all those folks rush in first thing in the morning trying to speculate on what will happen today, just keep in mind that we're likely to see very choppy light price action through the, through the morning um, uh, right up to the FOMC announcement. And then after the FOMC announcement, literally anything is possible. So be very careful and consider carefully how you want to approach the day, carefully how you uh, set up your risk um, heading into that FOMC. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very best. I want to wish you a great day in trading, great profits, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.